Lagos is not just Nigeria's frontline economic hub. It is one of the world's fastest growing mega cities. In the last two decades, this city has transformed from one time infamous decaying metropolis to a modern functional city that has been attributed to years of forward thinking leadership. On this edition of Inside Lagos, we explore two years of Governor Babajide Sonwolu's administration as the 15th governor of Lagos State. Welcome to Inside Lagos, reaching you from Allen Junction roundabout. This is one of the remodeled junctions designed to enhance traffic management in the state. Amade Doja, Salam Adeni. Babajide Olushola Sonwolu, boss for Lagos. Bomi to two to row, I got to two and well, you were my other. On better to best, you were my own. So what he did, he got a song. Babaji de Olushola, so Olu, boss for Lego. Bomi to two to row, I got to two and well, you were my other. Lagos, the smallest state in Nigeria, harbors more than 24 million people and remains the commercial, industrial and financial hub of the country, contributing about 26.7% of the nation's GDP, more than 50% of non-oil GDP and over 50% of Nigeria's port revenues. As soon as Babajide Olushala Sanwolu was announced as the winner of the 2019 governorship election, he made several promises to Lagos residents. The most central is pushing for greater Lagos and bringing the deliverables of democracy to the door of millions of Lagosians. Fact checking his acceptance speech two years after is not a bad idea. I vow to you, dear Lagosians, that my eye and my mind are too focused on the future, too fixed to where we must go, that I will not give a second thought to where we're coming from. He knew why he was elected. You elected me because I have a vision in mind and a mission at heart that I must fulfill. On this small piece of land we call our state, we must provide livelihood to all who are here today and all who shall come tomorrow. It requires a special people to meet these challenges. He promised modern infrastructure and encouraged investment. From the Bosco Health Mission to the Thought for Snacks Initiative to Sonwolu Cares, Sonwolu Listens and many other people-oriented initiatives, it has been a narration of the impactful governance all through. Our administration shall advance and build on the tradition of construction, the modern infrastructure needed to improve living condition and encourage greater business and investment by lowering the cost and increasing productivity. And economic opportunity for the vast industries and the population. In his theme's agenda, traffic management and transportation is the first pillar. Two years on, Babajide Sonwolu has made traveling around the city easier and better with the removal of roundabouts and junctions identified for improvement. More than 30 have been completed. With the way they've removed the, the roundabouts, the road is very free now. Um, I'm very pleased with the road. Uh, he has been performing, uh, considering his uh, fight for this uh, COVID-19, he's performing. Keep it up, Governor. Um, I think you should focus more on um, at least youth employment. And, um, well, they should work on um, electricity. I don't know how they can do that, but the roads at least is improving in terms of developing the roads. The traffic has been better now. At least I believe it's a bit more better rather than the roundabout that's been there before. So I think it's easy traffic can be. People are able to see the centers more. I'm going to tell my governor say make it still improve on, uh, on uh, ro uh, tra uh, traffic road system and build uh, do more roads for us so that everything will they go smooth for him government and I wish him all the best. Under the bus reform initiatives aimed at restoring sanity to the roads, reduce accidents and improve connectivity, Mr. Governor also inaugurated the first and last mile buses to ply inner streets and maintained the restriction of commercial motorcycles in six local government areas and nine LCDAs.
the alternatives we are providing. We want it to go right into the communities. We want our citizens to have the opportunity to have procure their carry card. We want our citizens to have the option and have the capability to understand how each and every of this last mile will work before we have the big stick, which is the total ban that we're talking about. This is about safety and security of lives and property. <laughs> Governor Sonwolu also launched the newly acquired 100 high capacity buses into operation by the Lagos Bus Service Limited. The buses serve as replacement of BRT buses burnt during the October 2020 NSAS protests. During and after the NSAR saga, Sonwulu stood tall and in control, fulfilled promises and focused on rebuilding Lagos. As transportation remains the backbone of any economy, Lagos further renewed and expanded its infrastructure through its transport master plan. A multimodal system of transportation where road, rail and water transportation can complement one another was brought to bear. In April 2021, at the groundbreaking ceremony and commencement of several works, for the Lagos Mass Transit Red Line project of 37-kilometer rail route from Marina to Agbadu, Governor Sonwulu compensated owners of affected 263 buildings to be acquired. He paid them before demolition. Once you have your document, your document, then you will not have any problem. And in fact, the whole thing didn't take up to a month or two. You just have to give it to the state for, for improvement, for development of Lagos State and development of uh, Nigeria. So, so it's okay with me. The first time in the history of paying compensation, we're not just paying compensation to the landlord. We're also paying compensation to the tenants and to the business owners who are tenants to these properties. And so we're doing that to ensure that no one is left behind. We do not want to displace anybody from their economic activity right now because we want to just reposition them and make sure that Lagos can indeed provide that opportunity for them on an ongoing basis. Administration has been forging an aid. The administration of Babajide Sonwulu has demonstrated financial prudence by generating 127 billion naira revenue in the first quarter of 2021, despite the recession and adverse effects of coronavirus pandemic. Our recovery from the recession is still very fragile. This affects the macro economy, it affects businesses, but we we'll still make sure that we think outside of the box to ensuring that we deliver the needed revenue through tax and other government services to ensure that our provision of infrastructure uh, to Lagosians is not deterred. One of the compassionate side of this administration can best be captured by the life-changing impacts of its first 200 days in office through the Bosco Health Mission International and the Benjamin Oluwo Jebutu Foundation. More than 45,000 Lagosians benefited from the diverse free medical interventions across several locations in the state. After the management of COVID-19 first and second wave, the Lagos State Minister of Health moved to health infrastructure and training of personnel in order to ensure unhindered access to health care. Mother and child centers at Etiosa, Igondu, and Badagri were delivered. Governor Sonwulu also performed the groundbreaking of the construction of the 150-bed new Massey Street Children's Hospital at Adenija Dele area of Lagos. The new Massey Street Children's Hospital would provide secondary integrated care services and acute care to inpatients and outpatients while helping in reducing infant and maternal mortality. I have worked it up by not only initiating people-centered policy, but also by re resiliently implementing those projects that enhance the collective well-being of our people. The construction of the new Massachusetts Hospital reflects our unwavering determination 
to bridge all gaps in the health sector, while the reconstruction of the three major roads on Lagos Island demonstrates this administration's commitment to an inclusive and non-discriminatory developmental agenda for the whole of Lagos State. There will be 150 beds, multidisciplinary, specialist, pediatric hospital, probably the only one of its kind in sub-Saharan Africa when we're completed. During the peak of COVID-19, with Lagos as the epicenter in Nigeria, Governor Sonwolu serving as the incident commander worked tirelessly to curtail the spread of the virus. More than 260,000 residents were vaccinated with strategies put in place to prevent possible third wave. In addition to just carrying out the normal PCR test, we're, doing, we're developing the capacity to do the mutant PCR, which means it will not only pick up COVID, but it will be able to tell us which COVID, which of the mutations are circulating in the world that anybody who is positive for COVID is now carrying in Lagos State. This is very advanced technology. We are going to monitor inbound travelers to make sure that they are isolating according to the guidelines and that they come for their day seven test. To further ensure Lagosians have access to quality Medicare, Mr. Governor also inaugurated the Blood Transfusion Service Office, Oxygen Plant and Oxygen Triage Center at Bagada General Hospital. It is one of the 10 triage and oxygen centers constructed across the state. The activities of the Ministry of the Environment resolved around the management of the environment through reduction in noise pollution to refuse disposal through PSP operators, engaging in a circular economy for plastic waste, promoting waste conversion, giving the landfill sites a facelift to enable waste disposal without hassles. Lagos State Waste Management Authority, LOMA, during the period under review, and due to the magnanimity of the Mr. Governor, Mr. Babaji Olu has provided employment to over 30,000 residents. We have witnessed growth of PSP, that is private sector participation in waste management. They have also increased their capacity from 350 to 437 PSP companies that we have now. With the governor signing his first executive order on his first day in office, declaring zero tolerance for environmental abuse with aggressive cleaning and clearing of roads and drains, the Minister of the Environment under the renowned environmentalist Tunji Belu brought back the dirt-free streets and highways of Lagos. To ensure a flood-free state, they've discharged their responsibility continuously, the silting and evacuating silt from tertiary drains, secondary drains, highways, and black spots. The EFA gang has carried out routine maintenance during emergency flood interventions on approximately 300 kilometers length of both tertiary and secondary drains. Within two years, Lagos State Government has also delivered 51 iconic projects under the Ministry of Works and Infrastructure, aside from the ones done by the Public Works Corporation. We have done interventions around Old Odo Road that goes to Old Odo Alaba. That was why we could commission Tedimo Bridge. They have worked, they have closely finished up Barua Kandos. They have taken up some roads that are not beyond what they can do, the capability of what they can do. In education, Lagos State Government has, within two years, executed 1,097 projects across the state owned public schools. It introduced no less than 25,000 pupils in the state to computer coding, among other basic computer skills. The state will complete all outstanding projects to the highest possible standards. The three schools that we've been to were projects that were abandoned that Mr. Governor deliberately and intentionally said we had to finish. Thank you, Lord. Mr. Governor also honored 13 public school teachers with brand new cars, having passed the test of excellence during the state's merit award. I never knew that I would be recognized in the bush where I was posted. I call it bush because it's very, very interior, Okumoko. I, I, it's a seaside. So well, I was just doing my thing. I was just trying to make impact in the community. And here am I standing beside a car because I actually needed a car. I never imagined it. Because let me tell you, we don't even have time to even, to even learn how to drive now. But with these challenges now, I have to go and learn to let you know that I'm very, very happy inside of me. And my students in court, they did this for me because without them, I can never be here. This is absolutely unexpected. 
It's wonderful, it's explosive. The annual Teachers Merit Award is a proof that Lagos State will always, always reward excellence, committed, and diligent teachers. We will not waver in achieving the key goals of education and technology pillar in our team's agenda by providing a holistic education that will enable our children to excel amongst their peers. Lagos State government installed a 3,000 kilometer of fiber metro network connection across the state within year 2020. We're going to reach schools, we're going to reach medical institutions, government agencies, private sectors, as well as the markets, because we want to make sure that we leverage the power of technology, the power of internet to communicate and do business. As number one he for she in the state, Babaji Desonwolu is not taking the issue of domestic violence lightly. Lagos State Government has added the names and information of 206 persons convicted of sexual offenses in the state to the National Sexual Offenders Register, while the state's domestic and sexual violence response team also responded to 3,831 cases of domestic violence between April 2020 to April 2021. Our focus in the past two years in the Ministry of Justice is built around um, five parameters. One is to ensure that every resident of Lagos State has enhanced access to justice. Um, we are also very focused in Lagos State on upholding the rule of law, protecting the rights of citizens. We render free legal advice to our citizens in his promise to complete all unfinished projects in housing, Babajide Sonwolu is completing and delivering Lagos homes across the state. During the period under review, the following housing projects were completed. The completion of and commissioning of and handing over of keys to 492 adults of Alaji Latif Kaldeja Kondi in the Gondo, Alimosha local government area by the Minister of Housing. Completion and commissioning of 252 bed bungalows at Lagos Avoidable Public Housing Scheme in the Dale Badagri. Completion and commissioning of 360 homes at Prince Abedon Blair Estate, Igbogbo, by the Minister of Housing. My aim is no less than to construct a way of life and governance for Lagosians that will provide adequate employment and economic chance now and in the foreseeable future. We do this so that we may put our best assets, which is our people, which is our human capital drive and ingenuity to its most effective use for the good of all of us. In two years, more than 47,000 households have been impacted and about 20,000 business owners empowered with 939.98 million naira after the wanton destruction that trailed the ENSAS protest against police brutality. Agricultural training for rural women on cultivation of vegetables, cassava planting and cultivation, gari processing, and other arable crops. About 1,050 women have benefited from this program. In 2029 to 2021, during the empowerment program, 236 graduating students across the skill acquisition centers benefited from a empowerment, mega empowerment program. The state cash transfer will be moving from local government to local government, uh, the state cash transfer right now will be in 12 local government out of the 20. And we will stop until we get all local government covered. And when I'm talking about local government, I'm talking about the indigent and the vulnerable in such local government. Sonwulu Listens Initiative is about giving hope to the people who have lost hope. In the first and second phase, Governor Sonwulu presented checks running into millions of naira to the needy. For your leg, well, listen to you, sit down. Thank God for you. Okay, so you get yourself a new one. 50 indigent who were benefited by the 
beneficiaries of the first phase of the program held on August 11, 2020, have done well. The monitoring team from Office of Civic Engagement went around to the beneficiaries to ensure that the money given to them by the governor, Mr. Bagdadi Lassoul, was used to the purpose of which it was meant. They purchased the uh, as, um, what do you call it? They purchased this for me. Since the operation, since the amputation uh, operation, I've not been able to walk. I can't go to anywhere. I could not go anywhere. So I was just, I would be in my sitting room looking, praying until when uh, I wrote a letter to that particular department. Yes, we can speak engagement. And uh, it's like a prayer, and the prayer was answered. I will do, he's a talented administrator, and he's a grassroots man. Because if you are not a grassroots man or a grassroots, grassroots person, you will not, in the first place, you will not have created such department looking for the welfare of the people. Those who cannot eat thrice in a day, with that uh, department, they located them and uh, someone who made them happy. When somebody do good or does good, <laughs> your mind will be praying for that person. Without open my mouth to pray for you know, um, for some Olu, my, 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 my spirit is praying for him up to today. My neighbor told me about it. I said, let me give it a try. And it came out well. And they gave me money, 250000 With the help of the money, I was able to stock my shop, buy my gen. Before, I don't have generator. But now, with the help of the gen now, at least, once customer come around, be able to make them comfortable. Like I have, I will put on my AC, my fan, then also dry their hair too. He really tried for me. I want to say thank you so much. To boost food security, the government is concentrating on value chains where the state has comparative advantage. Governor Sonwolu launched a five year agricultural and food systems roadmap, a private sector driven with the government acting as the catalyst and enabler. Projected total investment in the agricultural sector is about $10 billion in the next five years. In the last two years, with the strides in infrastructure development, provision of quality health care, improved learning environment at public schools, environmental degradation, employment generation and wealth creation, implementation of youth-friendly programs, improvement in public security architecture, promotion of law and order, support for local tourism and sports, among others, the Babajide Sonwolo administration has, indeed, given Lagosians great cause to keep the hope of greater Lagos alive. I do not make promises lightly. This is a promise that shall not be broken. A greater Lagos shall be ours. We shall construct it in a way that it works in our minds, the grief of our hands, and we shall continue to thrive it and make it better. Lagos is on a progressive journey. Support the Greater Lagos Agenda and be part of our success story. And that's a package this time. Many thanks for being a part of it. See you next time. Amade Doja. Salam Adeni.